guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. Today's video, I'm testing out a bunch of new drugstore makeup. Yeah, I'm excited. I hauled a bunch of new drugstore makeup in my last video and they've been sitting in the bag waiting for me to try them out. Not opened anything and I can't take it anymore. I have to try them out for you. So that is what I'm doing in today's video. It's gonna be a little bit of a mix of newness and products that I haven't really used in a long time from the drugstore just because I didn't have an item for every step that I needed for my makeup that was new but this is going to be an all drugstore makeup look if you guys want to see what's new at the drugstore and want to see me test it out and hear my thoughts about it then please keep watching <laughs> So first things first, I'm going in with this primer. I am so excited. I have not tried this primer yet, so this will be like a first impression also of this product. This product went viral on TikTok and everyone was saying how much they love it, that it smells like marshmallows, that it really smooths the skin, keeps your makeup on. So I was like, okay, I have to pick this up. And it claims to be a 10 in one smoothing super primer. So basically it says that it soothes, softens, extends makeup wear for 16 hours, hydrates, evens the tone, minimizes texture, blurs light, Lines, adds a soft focus finish and keeps the makeup fresh that is a lot of claims for one primer so let's see what it does I'm gonna start off with like two pumps everyone was talking about how it smells like marshmallows actually oh it does you see it smells like marshmallows but it's not like obnoxious you know what I mean like it's not overpowering or anything because sometimes if you have a primer that smells like too too sweet or something it's just not like, you know, you just don't like it. Okay, that makes my skin feel really, really good though. My skin feels really, really soft. It feels dewy, it doesn't feel heavy or anything. And I feel like it actually does blur the pores. That feels really, really, oh my gosh, my skin feels like a baby's butt. Okay, we're starting off on a good foot. So we're actually just gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows next just because I've gotten so used to doing my eyebrows first that I just really like the way that that looks. So I'm going to be going in with the Lift and Snatch Eyebrow Tint Pen from NYX. This is in the color Brunette. I really hope this color works for me. I've really been loving the Milani pen so I have really high hopes for this one. I'm gonna start off by taking a spoolie on another pencil really quick. Ooh, I need to get my eyebrows started. Ooh -wee. I go ahead and take the pen and start making hair like strokes. I think my natural brow hairs are a little bit more neutral than this pen. Because obviously like the pen is like a brunette so it looked like it was going to be warmer but I don't think it looks bad. I think that looks pretty good. I, I have to clean up my eyebrows a little bit but I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next one. Hmm. For some reason, it's almost like the pen is kind of drying out a little bit, like on the end. Okay, I think the tint pen is like, it's okay. Honestly, one, I think the colors, I don't know if the color is working for me, but number two, it almost seems like if you keep using it, it dries out a little bit. Okay, so I've cleaned up my eyebrows and this is what they're looking like. So I'll be honest, I do think I've tried better pens only because I feel like the more that you use it, the more that it already starts to dry out. It was easy to clean up, easy to fill in for the most part, but it did take me a little bit longer to use this pen than it does with my Milani one. And then I don't know if it's just my lighting, but for some reason this shade, even though it's called brunette, it seems to pull more violet. Like it almost seems like it's pulling a little bit of the tone of my shirt, which I I don't know if you can see that on camera but I can see that in person it almost looks like a purpley red color so I'm not sure I like that so if you have like darker brown hair probably pick up the espresso instead of the brunette because this is definitely like more purpley red we are gonna go ahead and move on to foundation so I do have the new elf CC cream this is supposed to be a dupe for the it cosmetic CC cream it has SPF 30 it has full coverage and it has collagen peptides and niacinamide so it is also de-aging and it's not going to sit in any fine lines or anything like that I have tried the it cosmetic CC cream and in my opinion it was a little bit too heavy on my skin so I am hopeful for this because I was seeing that people like this one a lot more so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this just how I normally would with a sponge by the way I got mine in the shade light 240 W so I really really hope that this actually matches me because I actually ordered this online so oh, this is pretty thick 
I'm gonna take a beauty blender sponge and apply this and I do have um, I don't know if you guys saw that there was a, like a little acne spot there so I would really like for this to cover that which it looks like it already has so far this might be a little bit light for me <laughs> Okay, so I think that this actually looks really, really pretty. I don't know about the color. I feel like I look super washed out. That little acne area that I had is covered. Um, any discoloration that I have is covered, but it doesn't look like a whole lot of makeup, and it still looks healthy. It still looks radiant. I really, really like this so far, so let's keep going. I don't have a new concealer to show you guys, but I was thinking I would go in with one of these two because I haven't used them in a long time. I'm going to go ahead and go in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I have mine in the shade light beige which is a bit more yellow than I want under my eyes just to brighten a little bit we're not gonna go too too crazy I'm gonna go ahead and blend her out I've used this concealer before this is not anything new this is like a fan favorite for a lot of people I don't like the original camo concealer because it is very very drying I remember putting it on one day and it literally crumbled under my eyes and I just cannot do that so I really really like this hydrating one a lot I like the way that my skin looks though I think that my skin looks really really healthy and dewy but not like overly shiny and I think that this combination really works together really well and so far I think that the primer really did blur everything out really well because normally I go in with a pore filling primer first and then I'll go in with another primer all over the face but I think that this primer looks really really good just like on its own so I'm very impressed with this so far I want to see if it actually does prolong the wear of my makeup though I am gonna just go ahead and warm up the face a little bit and I don't have um, something new. I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn and I'm just gonna add some warmth back into my face because we are looking a little flat right now. This is a warmer shade so it's going to bronze more than it is gonna sculpt but that's okay. I don't really need a whole lot of sculpting right now. Just blending out. I think my camera shut off when I started blending this out so if you guys didn't see this is the equal tools blending and bronzing brush now we're gonna move on to setting the under eyes and I don't have a new powder for this but I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline loose powder in the shade fair light this is a phenomenal drugstore powder that not only sets your makeup but it gives you a little bit of coverage as well and it'll brighten my under eyes a little bit too because I didn't use a super bright concealer first I'm gonna just make sure that all of the creases are gone because if we set the creases and the creases will stay there and I tend to crease a little bit anyway, so if I can prevent it for as long as I can, then I like to do that. I'm going to go in with the same sponge, and I'm going to pick up some, and I'm going to basically set my under eyes. Not really baking under here, I'm just making sure that I'm setting it. And also setting my eyelid as well, because we're going to do some eyeshadow. And I don't want that to crease. You know what? I actually just realized that I also have the Halo setting powder from e.l.f. too. And I haven't really even used it before. I'm going to grab that really quick. That I already went in and set my face with the Maybelline. But I'm going to go in with a little bit of the Halo Glow setting powder from e.l.f. Just to give myself a little bit of glow. Let's go ahead and clean up a little bit of that bronzer. I just press the powder into my skin because it makes it look more skin-like and not as powdery. I think I'm just gonna move on to eyeshadow and while I don't have any new eyeshadow palettes like that are brand new, I did pick up this palette from Juvia's Place. This is the Nudes by Juvia's. It's just a beautiful basic nude palette. If you're kind of like me and you don't really like a whole lot of 
um, color on your eyes. These palettes, they have so many. They have like a, a berry one, a mauve one, a chocolate one. They have so many different little palettes and they're super affordable as well. And I really like the idea of these because it's got six shades and basically, I mean, it's for those really simple people that want a themed makeup look. Like this is the nude one, but if you got one that was like the berry one or the purples, it has all those shades in it that you would need to create a beautiful eye look and multiple eye looks at that. I'm going to go ahead and start off with this brown shade. It doesn't have a name on it, but I am just going to pack this in the crease with these with these <laughs> with the morphe m330 brush i'm just going to take some of this brown shade and i'm going to basically pack this um into my crease i noticed the first time i used this that it didn't have a ton of pigmentation to it so if you're used to the other juvia's place palettes you might be surprised to see that this palette and i don't know if it's this one in particular but this one is not super, super pigmented and that really, really surprised me. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye really quick. I'm going to just take a brush that has nothing on it. It's a fluffy brush and I'm going to basically diffuse that color because I don't want it to be harsh. I'm gonna also pull it out a little bit like that. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of this and I'm just gonna go a little bit on the outside of where I just um, blended that out just to kind of blend it together so that it doesn't look like just a sharp one color. And I actually quite like this color anyway, so I'm gonna kind of use this. I think I'm gonna go on the lid and I'm going to go in with this shade here because I think it would look really, really pretty with um, like the shirt that I'm wearing. So I'm gonna go in and with my finger because I don't think this is gonna pick up well with a brush and I'm going to put this on the lid. Is there like a really pretty like rose gold type of color? It's definitely not as like, it's a little bit like powdery almost. I'm just gonna wet my brush really quick. I want it to be popping, you know? Like I want it to stand out and be like super, super pretty. I think uh, wetting the brush a little bit helped. Still not as pigmented as I would like it to be, but it's it's cute. Take this brown shade on the bottom as well, just to make it match the top. Okay, so now I'm gonna do liner, and I'm gonna use the Epic Ink Liner in the shade Brown from NYX, and we're just gonna do like a very small little, I don't think I'm gonna do, like a wing. I think I'm just gonna keep it like a small little line. So for lashes today, I'm gonna be going in with these Eyelore number eight lashes. These are the ones that I hauled that have the fibers. So I'm just gonna pop these on really quick and then I'll be right back. Before I pop on lashes, I do wanna try out a new mascara. I know that I always put on my lashes before I put on my mascara, but today I wanted to try a new mascara out. This is the new e.l.f. mascara. It's called Lash It Out Loud and it's just supposed to be a really good defining mascara. I did try out the Sky High mascara and honestly, I don't really like it all that much. If you haven't tried it yet, it has a very bendy brush, which is, Similar to the telescopic brush, I just like the way the telescopic works better on my lashes. Quite frankly, this one reminds me a lot of the Bad Gal Bang Mascara from Benefit, and that one's better in my opinion. But anyways, I am gonna go in with this one today. I do like the wand because I do like brushes like this that are a little bit stiffer. I feel like they coat my lashes better. Mm. I don't know, I don't think it looks bad. I'm just so picky with mascara because my favorite is definitely the L'Oreal Telescopic. I think this would be a good layering mascara. Like if you put on a really good mascara that you love and you happen to get clumps or something, I do think that this would be a good mascara to use on top of it to utilize the bristles to like separate your lashes. But I don't think I would wear this on its own. Okay, so I'm gonna pop on those lashes really quick. Are oh, some lashes. I'm trying to get them to like curl a little bit more because they kind of just look like straight. I had to cut them a little bit too because they are, 
they were a little bit bigger so we are gonna kind of like we're kind of like all out of whack here so don't mind that but I am gonna go in with the brow glue because I totally forgot this is just supposed to keep your eyebrows in place give you really like that fluffy eyebrow look this is what it looks like it's a tiny little tube that is smaller than I thought it was gonna be but it is for the brows so maybe we won't need a lot and I'm gonna go ahead and just use this to oh wow okay I like this a lot I know that I literally just tried it out but I like how small the brush is because I think that's what's making it easier like sometimes if you get a brow you know glue or brow setter the brush is too big it literally is making them stand up and look so fluffy and like more natural I love that so I'm gonna go ahead and bronze the skin and I don't have a new bronzer I'm gonna just go in with this morphe glam bronze in the shade mega star so I am just going to barely tap my brush in there like like barely tap it in there and give myself a little bit more color because I do like what we've got going on here so I am just gonna go in with this blush from Milani this is in the shade rose doro and I just like how pink it's going to make me be I'm gonna go in with this bear with me um, spray from NYX to set my face really quick for highlighter today again not a new product but something that I have not ever used on my channel before and it is a really really good drugstore highlighter this is the rose gold glow from iHeart Revolution and I got this a while ago I actually don't even know if you can get this anymore but the pigmentation on this is so so phenomenal I love how you get a mix like you get um, the pink one and the gold one so I'm gonna be mixing these today just for a little bit of a highlight on my skin to mix this one and this one together forever and I'm gonna go with a little bit on my nose just to give you see it's like a little it's like a super cute highlighter top of the cheekbone here so so pretty inner corner right there super pretty so now what we're gonna do is the lips. I've been waiting for this. I do have the Lash Out Loud lipstick that I have not tried yet. I'm so excited. I got mine in the shade Global Citizen, which is a nude. I kind of want to line my lips first though, because realistically I wouldn't go in with this by itself. So I'm just I'm just being real. This is the eye pencil from NYX. It's in the shade light brown. I bought this because TikTok made me. I guess what you're supposed to do is you are supposed to put the lip color first. So you're supposed to put the lip color down. Ooh, that is pretty. That's a different color than I thought it was going to be. It actually goes with this lip liner very well. So then you're supposed to, I think, do you let it dry? I think you let it dry for a minute. I don't know. Then I'm going to go over top with this lip gloss. I guess it's like a sealant, I think. And you just, ooh. Ooh, that's sticky. And then I'm gonna go over top of the lip gloss. And I guess the lip gloss is supposed to seal this in and make it stay. So what I'm gonna do is I saw people, I don't know why people were doing this. I do actually like the glossy look, but just to test out the lip and see if it stays, I'm gonna go ahead and take my finger and just rub it across my lips and see if there's any transfer of the color. So here we go. Wow. <laughs> wow, there's nothing on my finger. That's crazy. That is it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing me try all of these new drugstore products and stay tuned for more because the drugstore is just coming out with newness left to right and also they're stepping their game up but they're also stepping their prices up so i'll definitely be reviewing products to let you know if it's worth the money if it's worth the buy and all that good stuff so if you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every single time i post a video as always thank you guys so so much for watching and until next time bye guys